Hello and welcome to our tutorial on how to load Ubuntu on the Pico IMX8M Mini uh, board over USB OTG using UUU on Windows. In this tutorial, we are going to show you how to load our Ubuntu demo image for, for our Pico IMX8M Mini board using USB OTG and UUU. So let's go ahead and get started. So what we have right here is our board. Right now you can see it's running a boot QT demo image. And on the desktop, we see just plain Windows. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go get UUU from our FTP server. And for that, I already have uh, an edge window opened up here to our FTP site, which is uh, FTP colon slash slash download dot connection dot net. And into this, we want to go into um, a particular folder, development resources. And then we want to go into development tools and then into installer. And then we want to grab the latest version of this file, IMX MFG UUU tool. So we're just going to grab that. And it's going to download, downloads pretty quickly. So I'm just going to show in a folder here. So it's in my downloads folder and which is great. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and unpack that. Go ahead and extract it. I'm just going to go extract it straight to my downloads folder. And it's in now a directory called um, IMX MFG UUU tool. So uh, we're going to go there. Now, the first thing that we're going to have to do after that is we're going to have to open up a PowerShell or a shell in administrator mode. So I'm just going to type power, Windows PowerShell. I just like this one. Um, and then we're going to go to our desktop or go to this directory. So CD, let's see if this will work. Let's see. Can I drag and drop or can I drag and drop that? Yes. That's what I want to do. Okay. So now if I go ahead and hit LS, cause I could do that in windows. Otherwise you can also do dir, but both of those things work. I use Linux a lot. So I like using LL LS. Okay. So what we're seeing here is the directory structure that is unpacked um, from the UUU tool that we get on our website. I'm going to go ahead and close this up now because I don't need that anymore. Don't need that anymore. Don't need that anymore. Okay. And uh, I'm going to have to run UUU. But before we do that, I'm going to go over to the board and we're going to put our board into serial download mode. Um, so for that, we're going to go ahead and power the board off. And then I'm going to move this jumper over one right here. These little tweezers are helpful because those jumpers can be a little tiny and it's between two fairly tall headers. So I'm going to turn that back on and that will be in serial download mode now. Um, so uh, you can probably hear my Windows machine seeing that it has an attached device. Um, and we're going to go ahead and start the UU process now. So this is in serial download mode. You will see nothing on the display. Sorry for the smudgy display. Okay. So we're going to run UUU, um, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go dot slash UUU slash, and then there is a subdirectory under here called Windows 64, and then there is a UUU.exe. The next argument I need to give is dash B, EMMC, underscore ING, tells it the kind of programming to do, and then I need to point it to the bootloader that will be downloaded initially and run out of RAM. And that is IMX8MM slash Pico IMX8MM slash Pico IMX8MM flash dot bin. And now I need to point it to the image I want to download. And for this, I have that image already unpacked and located in another directory. Now I have my path to the image I want to program uh, onto the board here. Um, this is a, a fairly large image. 
Pico IMAX 8mm. It's about almost three and a half gigabytes large. So just run the program. And you'll hear a lot of bing bongs as devices disconnect and reconnect from USB. And now it is programming. It takes a while, so we're going to pause the video and I'm going to go ahead and fast forward. I'm going to pop back here. We're about 31% written here and I brought up a serial terminal just to be able to show you what you'll see if you have a serial terminal connected and you're downloading an image with UUU. Um, the, the bootloader, uh, in this case it's running uh, Fastboot and using Fastboot to download images or data to the board, um, outload, outputs some uh, data here to kind of give you an idea of status. Um, so that's what you're seeing here. And just to let you know, if you pop over to the video, um, that is the serial port, it's a micro USB connector. I mean, on the other side of that is um, a dual USB to UART chip that we have on the baseboard that provides the serial console. So just a fun little tidbit there um, in case uh, you wanted to check out serial port messages. All right, we're gonna go ahead and fast forward again. Okay, so we are almost done now. Okay, now we're done. So uh, what we need to do now is we need to put the board back into normal boot mode so that when we reboot the board, it boots from EMMC and from the image that we just programmed. So for that, we're just gonna go ahead and pull that jumper off. Yeah, I did that while the board was live, but it's just a GPIO, it's no big deal. When it connects a pull up. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and just hit the reset switch. Okay, you can see from the serial terminal that something is happening. And there we are. And there we go. So now we have the desktop here for you, you, uh, for Ubuntu. Um, everything seems to be working well. Uh, just as a point of information, um, we have two accounts that you can log into. If you want to log in as Ubuntu, which is a normal user, you just type U U B U. if I can do this correctly, UBU into you, and the login is Ubuntu, I believe. Yes, so password is Ubuntu as well. Um, if you want to log in as root, you can do that just by saying root, and then the password is root. So now you're root. Then you don't have to use sudo every time you run a program. Uh, but uh, obviously uh, you can also cause some damage. Uh, so uh, it's normally safe to uh, to use to be use uh, your, your, you know log in as a normal user. So anyway, um, there you go. Um, this is uh, Ubuntu running on Pico IMX 8M Mini. We just programmed that over USB OTG to the board um, using Windows. Thanks again, I appreciate your attention, and if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel um, for more informative tutorials. Thanks very much.